Hello. This video is one in a series about how to make the quick and easy Sterling engine. The book is available online at the Sterling Builder website, or you can also find it at Amazon or at Barnes & Noble or at your favorite bookstore. What I'm going to show you how to do right now is how to make the bottom of the pressure chamber. In order to be effective with this design, this cut along here has to be very straight and it cannot have any jagged edges in it. If you have a jagged edge or a tear in the aluminum it will split when you press the top can down into the bottom can. So we want to make that cut as neat and clean as we possibly can. So what I've done is using the directions in the book I've measured and made a mark at the proper height for the bottom of the can and I'm going to take a permanent marker and you can use anything to hold the pan up at that right height. You can use a stack of books or your ruler or such I'm doing here. Hold the can against the mark or against the pan and turn it and make a mark until you have a line as your cutting guide. The first step in cutting the aluminum can is I'm going to cut above the mark and I'm not going to worry too much about what the, the edge looks like. I'm using a small pair of very sharp scissors and this first cut will be quite rough and jagged. If you try to put something like that together it will actually split and tear where those jagged edges are. So in order to make it smooth, I'm going to now use a slightly larger pair of scissors and I'm going to cut very carefully down to the mark. Now I've actually turned the can around so for a right-handed person I'm cutting what feels like backwards because I have the scrap on the left side. But as you can see by doing that it makes the scrap turn up and come out of the way and that helps get a nice clean edge. Now I have a nice, clean, straight edge. You can see a little bit of wrinkling there. and uh, But that should work pretty well. And that'll make the bottom for the quick and easy Sterling engine. 